back to my channel. So for those of you guys who are new, my name is Ash and I'm a 25 year old mother of three from Brisbane, Australia. And this is my new channel for all things that are sort of mummy or wife or homemakery related. Just pretty much everything about my current situation being a young mother and young wife from the millennial generation. And today I am so excited to be doing a video with my good friend Rachel from Rachel Lee A. I met Rachel about a year or so ago through YouTube. YouTube and since then we've become really really close we used to see each other a lot when she lived in Brisbane so you might have seen her in our daily vlogs back last year but early this year she moved to Melbourne and even though we don't get to see each other as much we still speak on the phone fairly regularly so I still feel like we we're pretty close and today Rachel and I are both doing back to school lunch videos Rachel's gonna be focusing on more sort of high school or university or adult age lunches and my focus is going to be more sort of kindy preschool primary elementary school but then there is a little one for mommy as well so now when i was speaking to rachel on the phone this morning she was telling me about all of the fun things that she had planned for her video and it sounds amazing so if you haven't already make sure you go and check out her video i'm going to link it here also i'm going to be linking it down in the description box below and then of course at the end of the video as well so you can't miss it and if you aren't subscribed to her already make sure you do that as well because she is such an amazing youtuber everything she puts out is so original and so much thought and time and effort has gone into it and she is really really good at her craft so she is definitely one to keep your eye on in the future now for my video, I, like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys a few lunch ideas that are more directed at the younger ages. I'm going to be showing you guys all of the lunch boxes, cool packs, Tupperware, that kind of stuff that I use, as well as a few easy lunches that you can throw together that are healthy, they stick to school guidelines, and most importantly, they are delicious as well. So without further ado, here are my back to school lunch ideas for children aged one, three, four, and of course, a yummy snack for mama as well. All right, so for our ingredients, you'll notice that I've tried to stick to like fresh natural fruits and vegetables and crackers. A lot of kindergartens and preschools and schools are very strict on not having prepackaged food or nuts or in some cases eggs. So I try to steer clear of those things. Although you will see that I have got an egg today, I'm gonna show you guys a variation on that as well. Then next I have this cool yum box, which is an awesome, awesome lunch box. I only have one for Heidi, but I need to get one for the boys. They have this like air tight silicon mold on the top that stops any leakage and then on the bottom they have this clear plastic tray which has all of the food food groups listed um, so you can make sure that you're getting every single food group in your child's lunch and it's easily removable so it's easy to wash as well So to start with her sandwich today, I'm just going to be taking two pieces of bread, a bit of cream cheese, and I'm also going to be putting some avocado on the other side as a substitute for butter. Heidi really doesn't notice that I do this, so I figure if you can get away with it, why not? And, you know, cream cheese and butter, uh, cream cheese and avocado, I should say, are filled with a lot of really good healthy things as well. So I just find that it makes it a bit more nutritious for them. Then I'm just taking two little pieces of cheese, uh, cheese, ham, I'm a mess today you guys, two pieces of ham, cutting them in half and putting them on the sandwich in this way. So you'll notice that I'm getting all of the ham right into the corners rather than having a circular shaped ham on a rectangular piece of bread. Once I'm done that, I just assemble the sandwich and take these little cookie cutters. Heidi loves the star and heart shapes. And I find that these ones in particular, if I sort of assemble them in the right way, it really makes for very little wastage. So that is the main thing, because I don't want to go wasting sandwich either. This really just leaves the crust, which Heidi doesn't eat anyway. So it works out well. And then when I cut them this way, they fit perfectly into the grain section of her little lunchbox. So it works out well. Now, if you are concerned about wastage, this is a cool little item I picked up for Archie. And it comes in this sandwich shaped container. And it's just, it's a basically a cookie cutter that really does only cut out everything except for the crust. So you are literally wasting nothing except the crust with this one. 
And they look super cute. Like who doesn't want to eat a little train and a little boat for lunch? All right, so for Heidi's lunchbox, I'm also just gonna take a little carrot and cut it up. I then just like to grill it and put a little bit of honey on it. It's something that I've been doing recently just to sweeten the deal for Heidi. And she's been taking to it really well. And they fit perfectly in the vegetables section of her lunchbox. I'm then just gonna put some little banana chips, which is the only kind of fruit that I've found that she'll eat in the fruit section. And then a little bit of this sandwich mayo in the lolly section. She likes to dip her carrots in, I know it's weird. And then of course you've seen that I put some egg in there as well. Now for the dairy section, I'm just taking some celery sticks and piping some cream cheese onto them. This is called ants on a log and usually you do it with peanut butter, but because peanuts aren't allowed in most kindergartens, I'm just using cream cheese. And then for the boys, I'm just putting some little sultanas on it. Like I said, Heidi's not a big fruit eater, so she doesn't like sultanas, but the boys like it, so I'm putting it on theirs. And they look like little ants crawling along a log, so it's super cute, and it makes it that much more appealing for the kids to eat, because kids eat with their eyes after all. And that is her lunch for today. Now, if you want to do a variation of this where you don't want to use egg, you can always mix things up a little bit. I'm putting some crackers in the fruit section and just some cheese in the dairy section and I've moved those celery sticks over to the protein section and closing it up and popping it into her cooler bags. So I have these cooler bags for Heidi, Archie and Louie. They're from a band called Tiny Me, which I'm going to link below. They are so cute, so customizable. You can do your own design and name on the front. They have plenty of insulated storage on the inside, a little netted section on this side where you can put like cold things or little snacks in, a little um, pocket on the outside where I put napkins and tissues, and then a little carry handle. So they make it really easy for your kids to tote around with them. And and as you can see, they fit the lunchbox or the yum box and a popper in perfectly, so it's a really great size. Moving on to the boys, usually I would put their sandwiches in one of these Sandwich Keepers by Tupperware and I have them in every single colour but the boys standard uh, colour coded green and blue colours which I always use for them are being used for other things at the moment. So I'm going to be using these freezer containers also by Tupperware which are also a really great size for these kinds of things for little sandwiches and boys snacks and um, I'm actually going to use them for my snacks as well. All right, so rather than doing sandwiches today, I'm gonna do some wraps for the boys. For Archie, I'm just gonna put on some hummus and Louis is gonna have some cream cheese on the base of his today. And then I'm just gonna go through and put some yummy carrot, cucumber on each of them. And then Archie's gonna have some chicken, Louis's gonna have some ham. And then I'm just folding in both sides of the wrap and rolling them up before cutting them in half, which makes these really easy to manage wraps for the boys. They're a great size for them. And like I said, they're just really easy to manage. So here's where our containers come in. You'll notice that the wraps fit perfectly into the container lengthways. And then that gives me some room on the other side just to pop in these little ants on a log as a snack. Now I'm getting these containers. As you can see, I've got two in green, two in blue, because that is our standard color codes for the boys. And they're just a smaller version of the containers with the yellow lids that we just use. So I'm gonna use these to put some snacks in. So to start out with, I'm just doing really basic chopped fruit, and that is gonna be their little fruit salads for the day. And then in the other two, I'm just gonna throw in some crackers and cheese. So another quick, easy snack that I can carry around with us. And then I'm just gonna take these super cute spoons, also by Tupperware, in green and blue. They have a really cute little lip on the side, so they grip onto bowls and containers and pop those into the lunch boxes. So you'll notice once again, everything fits in really, really nicely. And it gives the boys a whole lot of versatility in their lunches. 
You'll also notice I'm just chucking a little freezer pack in both of the boys' lunch boxes. This is because we're going to go out to the park this morning and unlike Heidi, we won't have a fridge where we're going. So you want to make sure that the food is kept cold. Next, I'm just taking a little snack pack or any empty container, washing it out and removing the lid. And then I'm just going to take a mason jar, one of the ones that has the hole in the lid, as you can see here. This is an important part. I'll show you why in a minute. And you're going to want to make sure that the hole that you have and the container that you use fit each other like so. Next, I'm just taking a hot pan, a can of chickpeas and a little bit of taco seasoning. And hopefully I'm not going to, there we go, clean up that lens a bit and just stir it around until they're nice and grilled and the sauce is dispersed. And then I'm just going to take my mason jar, throw in some rice, hummus, chickpeas, avocado, then just take these little lavosh bites, throw them in my little, what was it, a snack pack container, insert it into the lid, and then screw it on the top of my mixture that I've just made. And that gives you this really easy to tote around yummy lunch for mama. Lastly, I'm just gonna throw in some strawberries, kiwi fruit, blueberries, apple slices, and then put a little bit of lemon on that so it doesn't go brown. And then throw some almonds in over the top just as an extra snack. We then finish off by packing a different colored water bottle for each of us. And Heidi is off to kindy with her backpack, cooler bag, and water bottle. And the boys and I were off to our picnic and we had such a great time. It was all made so easy by having everything stored away in their own separate containers and cooler bags. And then of course me having my little com compact lunch made everything so much more seamless. So we were able to just focus on having a great day. Alright everyone, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I had so much fun making it and I hope you guys had fun watching it as well. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can also add me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Pinterest. I'll have all of my links to those listed down below. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and make sure to share the love over on Rachel's channel as well. And other than that, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!